Hey, this is Jonathan. I just wanted to... F let, let's start scaling up right now. Okay, slow, right? In terms of uh, how much we scale. Uh, 267, right here. Boom. You know, it's not... Hi, my name is Jonathan. And by the end of this video, I promise you that you will learn how to make your millions in e-commerce within the next few months or so, okay? You will be able to do this without external funding, without any connections, people in high status, you know, people with money, while completely being bootstrapped as well, okay? You don't have to take loans, okay? You don't need a big budget or whatever, and you're going to do it as fast as humanly possible, okay? So you're going to get the result as fast as possible within a few months, not just a few years as well, okay? So before I do anything, I just want to show you client results because client results speak for themselves, okay? So this is Alexander right here. Alexander, uh, when we first met, he was doing negative 5K per month. So previously, uh, he had a product that he was selling and uh, he basically actually raised actually $1 million in Kickstarter. However, after his Kickstarter campaign, right, he transitioned to evergreen sales. He was unable to sell his product and um, yeah, he basically was burning cash because he was spending around $5,000 uh, per month on Facebook ads, for example, and his cost of acquisition is just too high. It's just too high and he's actually losing money just by uh, being in business, okay? So when you're burning money through advertising, uh, you're struggling to get profitable sales and because the CAC's extremely high, right, um, he's unable to scale, unable to do anything with the company, there's no uh, liquidity and stuff, okay? So that's kind of where uh, when I met him and uh, basically when we came in, uh, we basically helped him scale all the way from negative 5K per month to 100K per month within the first 30 days, within the first 30 days alone, okay? Uh, we also, uh, within eight months, scaled him to, uh, in one stretched period of time as well, a million dollars in 57 days. And now, uh, this past December as well, he has been doing a million plus per month as well. Okay, Alexander is successful because he's a start entrepreneur and uh, he will get things done. You know, he, he, he follows um, and he'll do whatever it takes to be successful, okay? This is Alan. Alan is from Phoenix, Arizona uh, in the US as well. Uh, he went from uh, zero to a million in five months, okay? And in November alone, we helped, we helped, we helped him produce uh, $500,000 per month, okay? And now he's just doing consistent 200K per month as well. So Alan, uh, he basically sells an online course and information product together with a physical product as well. So his funnel is very strong uh, purely because uh, we are selling this physical product alongside with the info product as well, okay? Uh, when he came to us, right, he's basically hitting a massive wall in terms of diminishing returns and unable to scale up to a certain uh, ad spend. So you're spending, for example, like $1,000 per day and then people normally get stuck there, right? Because they're unable to scale beyond that ad spend uh, profitably and the performance of the campaigns absolutely just like uh, went down, okay? So at low spend, everything was profitable, everything's okay. But once you start scaling up that ad spend, right, everything fell apart. Okay, so that's Alan's situation. Okay, for Ryan as well, uh, Ryan is from Brooklyn, USA. Uh, he was transitioning his business from an offline business to an online business, and he has been over 20 years in, in the apparel business as well. So he uh, transitioned online for the first time because uh, of the situation and uh, was facing problems scaling the ad spend and kept up with his target audience as well. Okay, we helped him tweak the offer, open up both Facebook and Google ads at the same time. And so he's omnipresent and so he can able to uh, massively scale as well. And as you can see here, uh, over the past uh, Q4, for example, uh, we have been scaled up to 160K per month as well. Okay, so that's a $2 million run rate right there. Okay, so this is Emma. Emma's a real estate agent from Brisbane, Australia. Uh, basically, uh, Emma was doing dropshipping. So she was dropshipping online, doing the, the, you know, the, the slow, sorry, doing like the short term game. And I asked her to transition to a much more branded e-commerce model because, um, you know, you, you have to be like in a real business for, for you to really um, be a longevity sort of thing. Okay, so when we start scaling her ads, you can clearly see and the case studies from down below. Okay, but watch this video first. Um, we scaled her from zero, stand sales zero uh, to 100K uh, within the first 16 days alone. And so uh, after that, the stock kind of ran out because uh, we sold too fast and uh, things, problems with fulfillment and stuff. Uh, so yeah, okay. So this is Adam. Adam's from the UK. Uh, when I met him, he was already doing 500K uh, per year. So actually not a bad business at all, okay? However, he was selling a high ticket product and so his problems were, his margins were super, super tight, okay? So even though he was getting sales, uh, he was acquiring customers, right? Uh, but because of the cost of acquisition is so high uh, up to the point where he's very, very little profit uh, left over for himself, okay? However, we came in, helped him, uh, taught him how to implement our landing page strategies and massively increase his conversion rate as well. And if you're able to increase your conversion rate, right, you can spend more money and you can make a ton more as well, purely because without doing anything uh, about the ads and stuff, right, you're able to produce more profit for every sale, for every sale that you generate as well. Sorry about that. Yeah, so you can see here, um, over the past year, right, he increased his business 93% from 500K to 967K. However, he was able, uh, supposed to be able to do a million. However, his stock uh, for the last five, five weeks or so, for example, you can see uh, it actually stuck and uh, affected his sales as well. 
Okay, so that's Adam's situation. Okay, next one. This is Paul. So Paul and Will, they're both business partners. Okay, this is this is Paul, but uh, Will is, uh, you can check out the video below as well. Uh, but basically, they're from Australia. Uh, they're actually working nine to five. And so like, um, they were actually drop tripping already, doing like 20K per month and stuff. Uh, and then Paul told me that um, he was not really sure whether it was luck or what, not sure what was working and what was not. So uh, once we came in, helped him with coaching and stuff, right, we improved this offer as well as the copywriting and almost overnight, right, he was able to increase that conversion rate, okay? People don't understand how important uh, being able to increase the conversion rate is because if you have a business that's doing like 20k per month for example like Paul right if you're able to produce a lot more profit uh, for every sale that you generate right you're able to reinvest that and grow very very aggressively as well so Paul fantastic stuff he did the work uh, he got the result um, yeah you can see um, here he messaged me uh, he scaled up to 112k uh, but then in the month of October he hit 195k as well and the sales was like consistent because uh, the messaging and stuff that we teach is always very evergreen uh, you, they, don't just, they don't just die over time as well okay and this is Aita Aita is from Singapore so basically he was working 9 to 5 and he got kind of retrenched uh, for the virus and stuff and so uh, in the first year of business, so he did not how to he did not know e-commerce at all. Like he's close to retirement already, but he still picked it up. Still came into the online marketing space, and uh, yeah, he's doing well. Okay, so we helped him with his, with his uh, media buying strategy as well as uh, conversion rates and stuff. Okay, so I, I told him I advised him to go from hey if you're dropshipping now or whatever to build your private label brand, and that's a very much more stable form of revenue as well. Okay, so in the first year alone, I don't know about you, but I feel that this is a smashing success because if you think about it like an employee uh, making X amount, you know, per, per, per year or per, per month or whatever, and then you transition online and the first year of business, he's already done 500K uh, within his first year. So, I mean, congratulations to him. Um, he did the work and that's why he deserves his success as well. Okay, this is Swery. Swery is from Norway. So, Swery, when he came to me, he was doing around 8 to 10K uh, per month. He basically uh, sells like humidifiers and stuff uh, in Norway, okay? But he was not doing a lot of volume. And he also told me, not sure why, but he almost ran out of cash flow when I met him. Okay, so when I, uh, when I came in and basically uh, taught him the landing page strategies once again and stuff like that, he's got a lot more stable ads. It's a much more evergreen appro approach, right? So we literally create one ad, let it run for months and months without, and without any fatigue whatsoever. So I don't know about you, but uh, I'm very, very much understand that, hey, if you are spending a lot of time in the ads, right, there's something wrong, right? It just means that you're doing something wrong because you should be able to run an ad and that ad should be able to last for months and months uh, on, on end as opposed to like uh, his previous strategies, right? Um, that he was constantly trying to go into the ads manager every single day, right? And then uh, he launched the ad, a few days uh, passed by and then the performance just dips. And this is just a hamster wheel. Uh, this sort of thing is very, very frustrating, especially if you're an e-commerce, right? And uh, online marketing is so pivotal to your sales and stuff. So you want something that's consistent. You want something that produces revenue and can scale over time. You can clearly see uh, from the graph here, you can see uh, like he was really like going down and cash flow is very, very tight. And then we came in, just bump it up. Uh, conversion rates, every single thing improved across the board and uh, performance of the ads also uh, was very, very consistent as well. Okay, so next one, this is Charlie. Uh, Charlie is actually an American, but he lives uh, in Honduras. Okay, so when I met him first, he was actually dabbling. He's like distracted, doing like many different things. Uh, especially he was doing affiliate marketing, e-commerce at the same time. I just told him, okay, double down on your e-commerce stuff. Okay, and within the first three days, uh, he did 100K in sales. 100K within three days. I know it's an anomaly for him because his product was actually very hot at that time as well. Okay, and then uh, he did 400K with his first store. Okay, so right now I told him to reinvest his profits and stuff. Uh, and now he's running his own branded jewelry uh, e-com store as well. Okay, um, yeah, Charlie, he bought his car. <laughs> so he actually bought a car with the money, even though I told him to uh, reinvest every single thing into the branded jewelry space. But um, yeah, definitely deserves that. He did the work uh, and he produced the result as well. Okay, so like I've done millions in advertising spend across price point, across industry, because I work, work with multiple clients, right? And so I, I see the numbers across that, physical product, info product, what, whatever you, you have, uh, like I've done it before. Okay, you can see here, this is the official uh, Facebook directory as well, and we are a marketing partner. If you want to see the official like partner directory link, you can go ahead or even search on Google if you want. Uh, and basically, yeah, I, I visited uh, the Facebook HQ uh, in Singapore as well. And this is our agency, uh, one of the screenshots that we had, uh, the video that I created uh, qu quite a while back of the ad spend as well, okay? So like I can go on and on and on, but I think you get the point at this point in time, okay? So this presentation, right, is really for people who are in e-commerce and how do I define e-commerce, okay? E-commerce is when your sales 
come in when people put in the credit card on your website and they purchase from you, okay? So this can be a product or service, but the transaction solely happens online without a need for a salesperson, right? So you don't need someone to come in, talk to someone over the phone and close the customer, okay? The person can just check out themselves and money just comes in, so it's very, very passive as well, okay? This can be anything from, if you're selling physical products, for example, right? You have uh, shipping fulfillment, or even if you're selling digital products like online courses, uh, uh, like Lightroom presets, stuff like that. Everything is digital product. It, it also applies, okay? So this is predominantly for physical product branded e-commerce, right? People selling digital products, for example. However, if you're selling digital product, generally, it's less than $1,000 because uh, anything over $1,000, you are probably selling through a webinar or something like that, okay? Uh, or if you're, for example, a lot of dropshippers come to me as well and they want to transition to branded e-commerce and they really want to know how the game is being played, okay? Don't, don't stake on the low game, by the way. You come up to the next level, uh, branded e-commerce, much more stable. Um, it's a real business, okay? Uh, you already have revenue. So, like, really, there's, there's no, like... Uh, how do I say this? You probably are quite good or like quite, you know, know the environment, know e com quite a bit already and you, you just want to scale up, get to the next level as well, okay? Uh, this presentation is also for motivated, open-minded entrepreneurs who want to make money legally but very fast, okay? Uh, you want to scale now, okay? Ideally, you already have some revenue and you want to get to the next level, like I said, 100, 200, 500K per month, minimum as fast as possible, Okay, people who have already some experience in e-commerce as well, uh, even though like uh, in the program and stuff, we do teach from scratch, but uh, generally I think it'll be much more useful for the people and get fa much faster results, I would, I would say, uh, as those who are, as opposed to people who are just starting out, okay? You gotta be driven, you gotta be hungry, a uh, long-term focus as well, who want to do big numbers and make millions of dollars really quickly, uh, but you also care about your customers, right? Uh, at the end of the day, uh, running a business that uh, generates cash flow, get, generates profit, but still impacting the lives of your customers as well, okay? So you might be asking, uh, why should you even listen to me in the first place, right? And then you might be saying, okay, yo, John, uh, this is like sounds great, all these case studies, blah, 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 right? But um, does this actually work for me, right? So let me just tell you who, who I am, right? Okay, so really shortly, I'm just an agent kid from Singapore, okay? I run a digital marketing agency, uh, OXG Media. I'm doing this from my bedroom, okay? I'm not good at math. So you can't say that, hey, you're really good at math, you're really good at running ads or looking at data, whatever. You can't say that because I'm not good at math, okay? Also, I've got really average grade in schools, in school, okay? So you can see on the right-hand side, this is uh, university. Um, and this is, look at this, this is the accounting module. This is a finance module. I got like C plus, look at this, C for accounting. Uh, finance is like a B, B minus. Uh, the rest, yeah, I, I don't really want to talk about it. Yeah, okay, so I wouldn't say like, I'm really, really great. I'm not very smart in any way. So statistically, if you think, if you think about it, right, I'm not supposed to be here, right? So like, despite all of the odds, like, um, yeah, I'm not supposed to be here, right? But if you know me, I'm not particularly good at anything, but I've been sharpening this skill and experience of paid acquisition and paid ads for three years now and have literally spent millions of dollars as well. Okay, in the process, I've made two of my clients uh, pre-tax millionaires, okay? And you, if you're thinking as well, okay, um, yo, John, I don't have such a big team, I don't have such a big company, okay? All of these um, businesses and people that we have helped in the past, right? These people are entrepreneurs who get things done, okay? And there's only them and whatever we have. So it's, for example, our coaching, our agency, and we help we help uh, these entrepreneurs uh, get these revenue numbers. And for example, like uh, for example, Alexander, right? It's only him and, and our agency and that's all. And then we can scale, you know? So if, don't think for one sec, it's like, hey, if I want to make like $5 million uh, per year, right? Uh, I need such a big team. Not necessarily at all. The very, very small lean and team, uh, lean teams who are very resourceful as well are going to make the most money, okay? Because they know how to be resourceful. Okay, you might be also asking me, I don't have any budget right here, okay? Nobody has budget, okay? There's no such thing as a budget, okay? If you know, if you learn how to do this, right, you're profitable from day one, you're able to scale, and you know your numbers, right? You're always profitable. And so that um, we all start from zero, but then we can scale to these crazy numbers despite uh, having, like, limited budget, okay? Because if you have limited budget, you're resourceful, you're profitable from day one, right? It means that, hey, you don't need any venture back, you don't need any loans and stuff because you, can, you are bootstrapped. You are completely bootstrapped, okay? So if I can do this, right, I would just like to ask you, right, um, what's your excuse, okay? Because statistically, like, I shouldn't be here, right? But I am here now uh, talking to you and you're still watching, right? So yeah, there's really, I feel if you put in the work uh, and there's a proven system that you can follow, right, there's no way you will not get the result. Make sense? Like if so many other people have done it, like why is it that you can't do it? Okay, you just got to put in the work. And that's really what separates people who are successful and people who are not, okay? Not only that, okay, not only that. I did e-commerce myself. So even though I run the marketing and the agency side of things now, uh, because I didn't really like fulfillment and stuff, okay? I did e-commerce myself. I know the pain of not being able to make sales, 
okay? And I've spent, for example, $4,000 of my own money uh, to learn this skill and such. So you can see here, this was way, way back. I actually edited this photo and even shot this photo, but I tried selling sunglasses online as well. Okay, I even made my friend Jairaj here <laughs> try to do models. So I, was, I thought it was really cool last time, right? But I was like a scrub, was a nobody, right? This is the Alibaba contract as well of the sunglasses as well. Okay, and now in China, the, the sunglasses are still uh, sitting somewhere and I, I, this is just unsold basically, okay? So after feeling so much at the start, I started figuring out what works through a positive feedback loop, right? And systemize everything, right? So I d did this for myself, for example, spend my own money, okay, it works. Okay, I tried for clients with their money, right? And it works. Okay, then afterwards, I teach other people my system and they try it and it works, right? And I've backed it, all my strategies with millions of dollars in ad spend. Plus, I've used it to scale brands to, to the eight-figure mark as well, the eight-figure mark, okay? So, like, I was not really, really comfortable teaching this when I, it's only, like, me and my clients, for example, because it, it could only be me, right? But once I taught people and people got results, that was when I was really, very really confident uh, to show this. Okay, because it just means that, hey, this is like a repeatable system. If other people can do it as well, right, and follow the process, they will still get the result nonetheless, okay? So if you're still watching this, right, you're probably facing these three issues right here. These three issues, okay? Number one, okay, you're making revenue, but your cost of acquisition is too high, right? So it's not like you can't get sales, okay? It's your ROAS is probably very, very low. Um, yeah, okay? Number two, you're unable to scale beyond a certain dollar per month. Okay, and you're probably hitting a wall as well. You want to get to the next level. So like it's fine and dandy if you're doing like, for example, 100K per month, but can you get to three, four, 500K per month? And if you can't write that, that that's, that's something that you need to fix as well. Okay, so yeah. And number three, you're also tried scaling the ad spend. Okay, so and honestly, I'll just be frank with you. Anybody can get to $500 per day uh, profitable. It's, it's not def difficult at all, okay? So after a while, but however, you start scaling beyond 1,000 uh, per day, for example, performance just goes flat, okay? So yeah, these are the things you're probably facing right now. And you know what's the worst thing? Okay, the worst thing is that the issues are not even money related, honestly. It's what the financial stress, right, does to your mental health, uh, insomnia, so you can't sleep, sleepless nights, and family relationships as well. And people don't talk about this, okay? However, right, uh, let me just tell you, if you learn how to do this, if you learn how to do this, if you know how to scale, bootstrap, you know, you don't, you're not relying on anybody. You are control of your destiny. It will get you the results you're looking for, and you never really have to worry about money again, right? Because you know how to turn on the tap, right, for, for to, pr pr to produce money over time. And it's incredibly liberating because if you if you think about it, right, it's you, it's your credit card, it's your skills and stuff, and you can just scale. You don't need anybody, you don't need help and stuff like that. Uh, and in, in the future, right, you can transition these skills into different industries as well, different products, etc., etc. okay? So imagine if you could just grow your company at scale, at will, okay? If, I, if, you, if you say right now, hey, I want in the next six months, I want to get 500K per month, and you know a very, very clear proven process to get there, right? How liberating would that feel, right? Okay, and so that is why I always preach about skill acquisition. Okay, skill acquisition is learning how to fish, learning how to fish, okay? This is, once you acquire a skill, right? It's applic applicable across industry, across price point, okay? You can be brought to other businesses as well. So it's a transferable skill. It's not like you just pick it up one tactic for e-commerce or whatever and just, you know, boom. You know, it's, it's not a tactic. It's, it's you continuously can use this over time across industry and stuff and it will help you uh, moving forward as well. So very, very important, okay? Uh, let me just ask you something, okay? Have you wondered, right? Why is it that everyone is entitled to the same traffic sources but we all produce different results? Okay, let, let, let me try to repeat that. Everyone is using Facebook, Instagram, Google Ads, right? Everybody's doing the same thing. But why is it people produce different results? Have you wondered that? Okay, and the reason why is skill. Is skill. It's because we are all using the same tools, but a lot of people simply don't know how to use the tools. Okay, that is what separates those who get results and those who don't. Okay, so that's why I said this, this photo is very good, I feel, but it doesn't matter how many resources you have. If you don't know how to use the tools, you, it will never be enough. Okay, and that is why skill, skill acquisition is the name of the game here. Okay, so the key points of my presentation so far, let me go right into the process later on as well, is that setting up your e-commerce business is honestly really easy. Like, I'll be frank with you, you can go to YouTube, type in Shopify guru, type in e-commerce guru, stuff like that, uh, watch a 30 minute video, you'll be able to start running ads and stuff, right? But actually getting consistent sales and scaling to big numbers, you actually need like a real strategy. You can't just be like, like having fun, okay? Uh, anyone can set up their e-commerce business within one hour after watching a YouTube video, right? But so many people fail at the same time. Why? 
they try to scale revenue, right? They try to do ads, then try to do product and stuff. And then they don't have a team and then they get burnt out and then they, they die, okay? The business dies, okay? A lot of people are unable to get their marketing profitable or barely break even. So you're putting all this work, right? You're able to get revenue, et cetera, et cetera, but you're getting marginal returns. You're stuck at some, you know, very, very, sorry, pathetic, like revenue levels and you're stuck there, okay? So most people honestly can get to 15 to 30K per month relatively easily, but like the marketing, they like the team, they like the infrastructure to know how to get to the hundreds of thousands per month as well, okay? And so I've, I've refined all the knowledge that we've, we have learned across the clients and stuff and distill this process right into a proven eight-figure uh, SOPs, a repeatable system that even non-technical entrepreneurs and beginners can adapt and execute as well, okay? So this is the framework to scaling to a million a month, okay? I'm not even kidding. Okay, let me just show you this. Okay, so for example, in, in the program, right, if you actually do come in, uh, this is the framework uh, that we're going to give you. And I actually call it end game, uh, jokingly as well, because this is literally, if you know how to do this, you can get to a mil a month. Okay, so it's really a process flow and diagrams and all of this stuff, um, just to tell you, everything will be given to you. So don't worry, I'm just showing you uh, the process first. Okay, so for example, you can see here, do you have a product? Yes. Okay, stock already bought in warehouse? Okay, yes. Okay, do you already have revenue? Okay, yes. Okay, then we can go and audit your account. Okay, and so all the modules are already like going to cover everything. So it's going to teach you how to audit the account and stuff, everything that's uh, presented here. Okay, if you don't have revenue, for example, you just go straight. Okay, you're choosing which platform to run on, which traffic acquisition strategy. Okay, and all the modules you can see are, are tailored toward, uh, towards every single action that you do, right? And then afterwards, okay, after you choose your traffic, uh, you do your market research to prepare for the copywriting. Uh, and then you go and fill up your customer persona worksheets and stuff, okay? And so you can see like every single thing is laid out for. Like there is no guesswork here. Every single thing has contingencies, right? So can you see here, for example, um, if for example, your performance of the campaigns are dying, right? You don't increase the budget. What are you supposed to do, ne to do next? You are supposed to go back, okay? And then you're supposed to go and fix your pain points once again, okay? So yeah, you can see this is the entire system and process that is, um, how do I say, systemized up to the point where every single step of the way, you know what to do. If you don't know what to do, right? Then obviously come on the calls, uh, come on the coaching calls and then we'll guide you as well. Okay, so every single thing is systemized. Everything has a process. Like there is, there's no guesswork here. Okay, so that is the framework. Okay, so next. Uh, okay, so we're also going to teach you how to basically build this funnel right here. And we're going to give you the templates to copy and paste into your business. Cool. So this is the general uh, e-commerce e uh, full funnel framework as well. Okay. So everything, everything from the traffic, how to run the ads, how to run the creatives, uh, the copy, the you know, the copy and paste uh, templates as well. Okay, the product page, the landing page uh, templates you can plug into your business. Okay, drive all the way to the purchase and how to create the upsells as well. Okay, and your retention marketing, every single thing from the emails, uh, the backend, uh, abandoned cut sequences, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, so let me just go through with you the process of how we're getting our clients these results as well. Okay, you might be interested in this. Okay, step number one, we always find out the price point of the products that you're selling, okay? Then afterwards, we find the margin, the gross, and the shipping cost, okay? So before we do anything, we need to do the proper research and due diligence on our actual business to really find out whether this is a business where, whether we want to run in the first place, okay? So everything from uh, ROAS calculators to stuff, so you can see here, uh, hopefully this loads, okay? Uh, we plug in, for example, a price point, for example, if you're selling at uh, uh, $59, okay? And our cox is, for example, uh, let's say uh, $23. Okay, and so our gross profit or margin of safety is around 36. So our break even uh, ROAS is 1.64. Okay, so that's basically um, the ROAS calculator and, and other things as well. How do we actually price our products? Okay, so even though you're in business, you're selling stuff, uh, you need to appropriately price your products. And if you don't, right, within a certain parameters, you're going to fail purely because you're not going to be able to produce profit at all. Okay, so for example, let me just change the parameters here. If we are selling an item, uh, for example, the cost of the product, no, not selling an item, is around $14. And the cost of shipping is, for example, $3 that we are paying, right? And the markup that we can do is, for example, a three times markup, which means we are selling to a $51 price point. And uh, yeah, so everything from parameters uh, to conversion rate, stuff like that, everything is given for you, okay? So you don't have to worry. You just plug and play literally into the templates, okay? And figure it out whether uh, your, 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 how do I say, the metrics are suitable to run in the first place, okay? So yeah. That answer, help, these things, these resources and stuff will be all given to you. And it helps us answer the question, uh, is this business even suitable to run ads within the parameters that we're giving you as well, okay? We also want to drill down the unit economics, means that 
at a small amount of volume, are we able to be profitable? And if we are already profitable at a small amount, right? Once we scale up, we know we have economies of scale. And so our costs will actually decrease over time. Our fixed costs uh, will decrease. And so the variable cost uh, to sell uh, a, a new customer right, actually decreases and the profit increases over time as well. Okay. Afterwards, we need to find out about competitor price points as well as proven acquisition channels. Okay. Next. We also teach you how to strengthen your funnel to increase your AOV. So we give you how to actually uh, build out the funnel and as well as the funnel structure of how to do so. Okay, so let me show you the funnel structure right here. Yeah, so every single thing from what do we upsell, how do we upsell everything. Um, and uh, yeah, everything from upsell number one, two, three, four. Are you going to produce uh, additional recurring offers and stuff like that? Anything that can increase your AOV and such that you are able to uh, basically kill your competitors out there. Okay, so the reason why we can scale to the numbers that we can, can scale to, for example, is because our competitors are this uh, lowly pathetic funnel right here, which is just a one product store, whatever it is. Okay, if you're able to increase AOV, right, for example, I can put down a two, $3,000 per day ad set and I couldn't care less. You know why? Because I know I can spend more to acquire the customer and that is the winner of, of the marketplace. Anybody who can spend the most to acquire the customer usually wins and we are going to give you the framework for basically how to do this instead of, you know, sticking to the low level and just being one, selling one thing and that's pretty much it. Okay, so that is basically it for the funnel structure as well. Okay, then afterwards we'll teach you about uh, marketing advantage and supply chain advantage and ensuring basically your entire funnel is all the systems and stuff is awfully tight. Okay, and then lastly, Obviously, this is the theory part of things so, so that you understand uh, the theoretical uh, elements to it. And then afterwards, we'll teach you how to do a technology setup of the full funnel as well. Okay, so you might be asking some questions. Okay, number one, why do we need to do this? Okay, we need to do this because we need to ask ourselves and better answer, right? Is this business actually suitable to use advertising to grow? People don't, people don't do due diligence. They just go into uh, things blindly and then just think everything is going to be all right. It's not going to be all right if you haven't calculated up to the dollar amount whether this will work out in the first place. Okay, so we will find out whether your numbers and your price points even make sense to run ads. If it does not make sense, obviously we are going to help save you a lot of money and save you a lot of headache in the first place so you don't do that business and try to uh, pivot a bit. Okay, that is much better because you're, you're not wasting time you know, trying to figure stuff out. Okay. However, if this is suitable to run ads, for example, okay, then 100%, 100% go and try to scale as fast as possible. Okay. Question number two, why do we need to see uh, what our competitors are doing? Okay. If your competitors are in the market, right, means that there's money in the market as well. Would you agree with me? Right. Competition means that there's money there. Okay. You also can get access to the channel, right? So we also need to find out what competitors are doing well and not well so we can get the fastest and quickest road to success as well. Okay, we want to be emulating what people are already doing well and what they're not doing well, right? So we can basically circumvent all of the uh, all of the mistakes that they already have made and basically, you know, get to the top as fast as possible. Okay, lastly, how do we find out what price points to use? Okay, so we determine this based on competitor data as well as using our plug and play calculator worksheet that uh, I've shown you and provided you as well. Okay, so that's basically it. Okay, step number two. Okay, step number two, we're going to research on the marketing angles. Okay, so we're going to find out what our customer actually cares about. Okay, we're going to define the unique selling points of the business, why people buy, why people don't buy, and the problem uh, that the products or services actually solves for the customer. Okay, and how painful is that problem? Okay, we've got to research all the market validated pain points as well. Okay, questions you may ask about this step, why or how do we do market research? Okay, by understanding what your market desires, you're essentially ensuring success that the ads you're spending on is actually going to be bringing in sales, okay? We use market validated messaging, keep in mind this, and pain points into the marketing such that you can reduce the cost of your testing campaigns, okay? You save lots of money, not only that you scale as fast as humanly possible without guessing, okay? Think product market fit, okay? So people think, right, that they are their products are the best things in the world, okay? No, not true, not true at all. If the market doesn't want it, you're not going to sell anything, okay? You're not a business, okay? So by really understanding what the market wants, right? you, you are able to really reduce your cost acquisition. And not only that, there's no such thing as failure because we have already figured out what the market wants and giving them what they want, okay? So it's not gambling. There's no such thing as winning products here. It's hitting the bull's eye every single time, okay? Product market fit is only like, uh, you know how like 90% of startups fail? They fail, right? Because they cannot sell. Makes sense. They run out of cash. Okay, so don't don't be in that position. If you do market research properly, and like obviously you or we'll teach you how to do this, right? You're not gonna go into that scenario, right? So don't like no way you're gonna fail. Okay, 
So question number two, uh, what's the purpose of finding pain points in the market? Okay, we do this by uh, collecting data, market resonance from surveys, comments, email outreach, analytics data, right? And how to draw insights from that data as well, from your existing data that you have. Okay, by pinpointing existing pain points that your customers face, you will be able to significantly reduce your CAC and see the type of scale our other clients see as well. So you might see the some of the case studies, right? Why we can scale so fast and so hard, right? It's because we do one thing and we do it very well, right? We drive that messaging so hard that the rest of the market, you can see, don't dare touch us. And we basically dominate that space as well, okay? So that's what I really want to help you do because if you can really, really hone in that transformation, uh, the, the benefit of what you provide in the marketplace, right? All your competitors out there, uh, no matter what funnel they run, right? They're going to be scared of you because you, they know uh, this guy is dominating this niche right here. Okay, so by determining, like I said, the transformation, right, this also ties into the price that we can charge. And if we can find new customers' insights into the step, uh, we can then alter the price point as well. Okay, so what I mean by this, right, is that if we understand that the transformation that we're delivering to the customer is um, corroborates with the amount of value that we drive, right, we can potentially increase the price of our products as well. Right, so if, if, if the pain point, if the, how do I say this, the problems that you are solving they are very, very painful, you definitely can charge a higher price. And charge a higher price means right? Not only do you make more money, you have more profit margin. More profit margin means what? You can, uh, how do you say, hire better people to service your customers. They'll be happier. And it's a, basically a loop right there. Okay. So yeah, it's not that increasing the price is a bad thing. Increasing your price is actually generally a good thing because you can take care of your customers, uh, customer support, etc., etc. as well. Okay. So yeah, that's that step is basically helps you understand does my business, um, actually solve a legitimately painful problem for my customer and how much value am I providing to the marketplace? A higher value that you drive, the higher price that you can charge as well. Simple as that, okay? Step number three. Step number three is copywriting and landing page building. Okay, so we're gonna build out the actual uh, landing page review with our best practices. So I'm gonna show you that as well later on uh, and hypothesize and write Shakespeare worthy copy uh, that resonates with your target audience, right? Because if you really think about it, right? If you're selling a physical product or digital, uh, if Besides, if, if you are doing like uh, AI, if, if you're selling an like AI, okay, I don't know, the AI that helps you uh, make your stock market returns faster, uh, uh, higher or something like that. So something revolutionary, everyone, everyone is probably selling a commodity. Okay, and so that is why this landing page template is going to allow you to be very consistent uh, in your purchases. And that is what, for example, the case study, right? Where Swery, this was the exact situation that he was struggling with. It's just that he's selling a commodity and once you use our landing page structure, right? You won't be a commodity anymore. You have proven offers, okay? Okay, so let me just show you this landing page layout right here. Sorry, give me one second, okay? So this landing page layout, you can see, uh, let me see, give me one second. Yes, so we, we are gonna give this to you. And so this is basically a plug and play that you can put into your system. And yes, we've tested it across industry as well and price point, so don't worry, it, it works, okay? Uh, everything from um, the add to cut buttons, what you need, need to put here, the pain points, the benefits, and etc. Every single thing is provided with you uh, in in this in this template, basically. Okay, so you don't worry, have to worry too much because like uh, it has been proven over time. I put millions in ad spend into this, so this thing works. Okay, so that's basically what you're gonna get as well. All right, so that is basically the landing page template. And once you're ready and approved, right, you're ready for prime time, uh, you have definitely a checklist to ensure that your landing page is performing as well. And so uh, after putting in your video and photo assets, you will be ready with this step as well. Okay, so the questions that you might have about this step, okay, number one, uh, why do we need to craft offers? Okay, like I said before, the reason why people don't buy your products now is because of a lack of a pain point. Plus, they don't have an enticing deal to actually buy your products and services. Okay, we help actually help you to craft your offer so that your products stand out in the marketplace and uh, consumers will choose you versus other people when deciding who to give money to, right? So for example, I was talking to a prospect and she was selling lingerie in Australia. And so I, I pulled up basically her, her landing page and her business uh, and a co um, basically compare her business to another uh, business right, right there. And they both look exactly the same. Photography, video, whatever, they're all the same. And then the feeling that the brand out that, uh, the, the, the feeling that it gives to the customer. Okay, so why do people give uh, the money to her competitors versus her, right? Because they are all the same. And that is why you're unable to scale because you don't have a definitive edge. You don't have offers that can sell in the marketplace. Okay, when you have offers that sell, right? They're gonna sell like hotcakes, okay? And you will always wanna be the top dog in the marketplace. People always will, will go to you even though you're selling the exact same thing, okay? So you just think about that, okay? 
And then when you can spend more on ads, right? When that happens, when you have offers that convert, right? Your cash flow will be much more healthier. You can spend and reinvest into ads and you li- can literally scale very fast like what Paul did, kill everybody in the space by drowning them out of the big auction and you're basically omnipresent as well, okay? Next question, okay, what landing page will we use? Okay, we'll give you the templates and the frameworks of eight-figure stores, okay? So that you can literally copy and paste into your store and change it up to your brand, okay? You might be asking as well, okay, hey, I am on WooCommerce, I'm Commerce HQ, does it work? It, like, it doesn't matter. It does not, not matter. It does not bound by, are you on ClickFunnels, Shopify, WooCommerce, Commerce HQ? It honestly does not matter. What matters is that, hey, does your CMS or whatever your website is, does it have a landing page builder? If it has a landing page builder, okay, we can do it for you, okay? So why and how uh, do we write copy for these assets, okay? We will give you proven copy that made millions of dollars as well and templates that allow you or anyone on your team to learn from and em- emulate as well. So I literally have, if I'm not wrong, a 42-page document um, prepared, basically showing you like all of the copy that we have written, for example, and uh, you basically can check it out for yourself as well, okay? There's a formula to this, so don't worry too much, okay? Because there's a formula, right? Uh, it's a matter of learning our method, then practicing yourself, then implementing for yourself as well, okay? If you are the type, I'm sorry, uh, if you are going to be the type who is like 50% off sale type of copy in the long run, uh, good luck. Because especially with the iOS 14 updates and stuff, and with competition getting more and more competitive, right? Um, that's not going to fly, okay? I don't see how you're going to really um, do well in the long term, okay? So uh, step number four, step number four is the ad creation testing phase. Okay, so we use the marketing angles and we create hooks in the ads using video ads as well. Okay, so we teach you how to actually create the actual creatives and what to say and stuff like that uh, and the formula of, of the, how this is, the timeline and structure of how the ad is supposed to be as well. Uh, we teach that, okay, and the actual launch of the Google and Facebook, whatever ads it is, okay. So now it could be Facebook. In the future, it could be TikTok or whatever, but it does not matter. What matters is we go to the traffic. We go to where your customers are hanging out on. Okay, so we're going to test in small budget amounts as well. See what types of angles that makes money in the market. And then we readjust, reorganize according to the data as well. Okay, Uh, not only that, you will get access to behind the scenes of million dollar campaigns. Okay, so you can see uh, this is one of the modules that we actually break down and are actually in the ads manager, for example. Okay, so question, uh, what is the testing phase and how does it prevent me from losing money on ads? Okay, so testing phase is crucial because you nail down your targeting and your offer. And to ensure it converts, if the offer does not convert right, then we will not want to continue spending money on it. Obviously, if it's not producing an ROI, we're not going to spend money. Yeah, duh. Okay, in a sense, the testing phase is risking extremely small amounts of money to validate product market fit first, okay, from our market validated research points, okay? So you can ensure that your business can prove unit economics. Okay, what I mean by this is that, okay, if you are at $500 per day, you can see, Right, campaigns are okay, everything is fine and dandy. But if you can scale, for example, to more than a thousand dollars per day, will this still hold? Will your campaign performance still hold? Right? If if it still holds, it means you have unit economics. If it cannot hold, it means it's there's no unit economics and you don't really have a business right there. Okay? So your testing phase prevents this from happening as well. Okay? So why is it worth even looking at million dollar campaigns when I'm only at X dollars per month? Okay, that might be your question. Okay, if you understand, okay, even though, even though, for example, you are like at probably uh, 50K per month, for example, right? For example, okay. And then you are saying, why, why should I look at these million dollar campaigns, right? I'm like very, very far from that or whatever it is. Okay. If you understand how the big boys play, okay. And what media buying strategies they use. Okay. You understand how to number one, get to their level. And number two, learn how to play the game as well. Okay. You don't want to be the, the outsider right here. You want to learn how everyone's playing the game so that you can get to their level, right? Especially for people who have never scaled campaigns in the first place, uh, experience in the field always matters, right? So by the time you get there, at least you know what to do and how to operate, right? You won't be panicking uh, when you actually get there, okay? So you will know uh, what not to do and especially what not to do, right? If if you know what not to do, you probably potentially save uh, like thousands and thousands of dollars uh, by just by, you know, by skirting around the, the, the block and stuff, okay? So step number five, Okay, step number five is basically scaling. Okay, so if, if you have done all the previous steps correctly, right, then now it's the time for the sexy uh, media buying and stuff. Okay, so media buying is generally a new domain, but if you're running ads for quite a while, it's quite, um, yeah, you will know these terms, right? Lookalikes, custom audience, CBO, conversion tracking, ROAS, ad set scaling, learning limited, uh, ad fatigue, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, and this stuff, once the previous steps are nailed down, will get you to, honestly, a million dollars a month, okay? Um, if you do all these steps, uh, step one through, through four, right? Honestly, step five is the easiest. I'll tell you that 100%. Okay, step five is actually the easiest part of everything because uh, the stuff that you don't see is the stuff that is hard, okay? 
Okay, and step number six, how to actually delegate and work three hours a day. Okay, so how do you actually hire people? Who do you hire? How to identify talent so you can work three hours a day? How to ensure your business runs and makes money without your involvement? Okay, how to actually incentivize your employees to produce better results as well, right? I'm pretty sure if you're making, for example, like 100, 200K per month, you don't want to be trying to kill yourself and work 16 hours a day. Okay, you want to be making like 100K, 200K a month and like coasting. Like you are very, very free. You're like, um, you know, you, are, you, you can be an actual CEO. Okay, okay so everything from the interview, qualification scripts, you can plug and play uh, for hiring and firing, firing for you as well. Okay, so yeah, question. Why is building a team important? Okay, up to a certain point, you may not want to be the one doing everything. Okay, generally, if you're the entrepreneur, right, you are the superstar all the time. It means you are, you are, you are the rainmaker. You make everything happen, right? But you're going to burn out. Okay, you're really going to burn out. Okay, if you can easily put in, for example, make 100K per month, right? While putting in a few hours of your day, right? Your dollar per hour will go up and you actually run a business. You actually run a business and you make the money that you want and you're not, you won't kill yourself. You won't be depressed doing it as well in the process. Okay, if you can free up your time from doing like the menial work, the everyday work of, of your ads and stuff, okay, you actually have brain space to operate like a CEO and you can focus on revenue generating activities and actually have a life. Okay, question number two, why is team building important? Okay, I know this is cliche, airy fairy, whatever you want to call it, okay? But if you choose the wrong employees, one bad employee can really topple the, topple the deck of cuts and implode your company. Okay, you don't want that to happen. Okay, I want to give you strong foundations. So that especially in a setting of remote work, right? Everybody's online. You're able to delegate work, be an actual CEO and chill, right? People are still doing work. People are still, you're leveraging other people's people's time to make money for you as well, okay? So you probably don't want to be working 15 hours a day. Trust me, okay? So in step number six, boom, money, okay? So this is when everything's going fine. You hire a team, uh, right? They're doing the work. So you don't have to do the work, okay? Uh, you live your life and you actually enjoy it and whatever you want to do it, okay? Uh, retiring is optional. Okay, so let me just recap uh, the entire process for you one time. Okay, so step number one, find out the unit economics and the numbers. Step number two, uh, find out the marketing angles, do your research. Step number three, copywriting. Step number four, ad creation. Step number five, launching. Step number six, scaling. Step number seven, optional. Okay, as you can see, right? Step number one through four, like I said before. Honestly, this is the brain work that you don't see. Okay, and this is what exactly we're going to teach you. Every single thing here. Okay, but... All of the case studies, all of the results that you see that I produce, that have helped other people produce, right? Um, these results is what you're, what you're seeing here. You're seeing a hamburger, hamburger that is finished. You don't see it when it started at the cow, you know, it started, started at the farm or whatever, right? You see the end result, right? So don't, don't always like glorify the end result, right? What's important is that the process and the system gets you to the end result. Always keep that in mind, okay? The end result is very, very sweet, it's good, but you know, you, you, you have to do the steps um, before you get the end result, okay? So everything we give you as a system, as a process, as a framework, as I showed you just now, right? There, there's like no guesswork, okay? You follow the steps, you're going to make the hamburger, okay? How can you make a hamburger when the cheese is on top? That makes no sense, right? That's why a lot of people will fail, especially students. Um, they go from step two and then they jump to step five. And then they're like, yo, this doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't work, obviously, because the cheese is not supposed to be on top, okay? Yeah, okay? So, yeah, not only that, okay? All of this stuff, the process, the frameworks is put through millions of dollars in ad spend and years of learning to actually create this. So this system is not just random, randomly uh, created from my brain one day, okay? So, so really, this is, I've tested this myself. Okay, I tested this myself. I've failed many times and obviously you don't, you don't see the failures. You only see uh, the, the, you know, the, the success or whatever, right? The, the end result. Right? I've tested this and proven with millions and ad spend, uh, years plus price point across multiple industry, across multiple clients. Okay? And I've also systemized everything into the materials and into the program as well. Okay? It was only when I actually taught this to students and taught this to other people and they used it, they've seen success. And then now it's given to you on a silver platter. Right? It was only when I seen that uh, students actually use the material that is systemized in the, the, the process, right? And actually get gotten success. Then I was really confident uh, that this thing works, okay? So um, what do we offer? We offer an accelerator plus a mastermind. And that is basically a 12-month intensive program that gets you results in the fastest period of time, okay? I, I literally, sorry, I couldn't care less whether it, it takes you, for example, uh, three days 
to consume all the content and stuff. I want you to be implementing, taking action. And so uh, once you start taking action, right, you'll be able to see some results or some non-results. And then from there, you'll be able to get the appropriate coaching uh, from there as well. Because I know for a fact, uh, people, even though they implement, right, they would definitely need help along the way. Or for example, there are some things, some fringe scenarios that you're not comfortable with that you've never seen before. You need some help and guidance on that as well. Okay, over-the-shoulder help is honestly very, very important. Um, purely because, hey, you can get to the result as fast as possible um, when you seek the opinions of other people who have done it already. Okay, yeah. All the blueprints, uh, the scripts, asset templates, examples, process diagrams, and funnels will be given to you. So don't worry about that. All the intellectual property is given to you. Okay. And then there's a Facebook group of community and coaching and Q&A support via Zoom. Okay. So why do we do Zoom coaching? Okay. Zoom coach coaching is actually fun. Like you actually get to like uh, network with other people, number one. Uh, number two, so hear other people and like the problems that they have faced, right? So that you don't, uh, uh, how do I say this? Uh, encounter the same mistakes. Okay. Not only that, um, within the Zoom coaching, right? You can ask questions directly. So open up Ads Manager. We want to see the data and then we can diagnose your problem from there as well, okay? Like on, like, how do I say this? A third party uh, coming in, seeing what, seeing your entire business, seeing your entire funnel. And with the experience, we can immediately tell you what to do and what not to do, right? Can you scale this? No. Can you, can you need to fix something else? Okay, then afterwards, can you, can you scale this? Yes. Okay, then scale. You know what I mean? So like, honestly, I, I couldn't care less whether you, you finish everything in like three days or so. I want you to, get through the program as fast as possible and start implementing because that's when you see results, okay? People like Paul, people like Alex, Alex right? Uh, they implement, they implement because they take action and they're start entrepreneurs, right? It doesn't matter. It's like they will do whatever it takes to be successful. So that's generally the, 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 the profile of people who are successful, okay? So like I said before, a uh, community of other entrepreneurs as well, uh, your network matters and you learn from other people and there's obviously accountability. I'm not going to tell you it's easy, obviously, because it's not, it's not easy. Not everybody, sorry, can make 100, 100k per month. There are only a certain amount of people who can do that because not everyone has discipline, discipline honestly. Okay, so when, when things are hard, you definitely need accountability, right? You want to ask somebody, el somebody else for, for a friend, for advice or guidance or whatever, right? There's a, at least a network for you to do so as well, okay? Uh, also, my friend Alan Chen, he runs uh, basically a free cash flow agency, uh, which basically they help with online business owners with tax and accounting. So if you do any need any advice, free advice from like a qualified CPA who has worked with like billion dollar brands, uh, we have that as well. Okay. And this also saves you years of your life and thousands of dollars trying to figure these things out. Okay. Okay. I, I just be honest with you. Huh? You can honestly go out there and try to do this yourself. Like really. Right. But would you rather like you can earn back money. Like money is not the issue here. The 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 the, the, the problem is time. The time is you, you cannot earn back time, right? For example, you, you try to spend two, three years of your life trying to figure this out, even though I've already figured it out, right? You're going to be wasting a lot of time. And yeah, time is money. So yeah, it's your choice, okay? So customer success and customer failures. Okay, you might be asking me, yo, John, hey, what's the situation, man? I see your case studies. They are like to the moon. They are like, holy shit, <laughs> you know? But then customer failures, right? Uh, you don't, don't talk about them, for example, okay? So let me tell you the profile of the people who fail, okay? Number one, they don't follow the steps. Like I said before, if you if you like put the cheese on on the top of the cheeseburger, that makes no sense. We need we need the, the, the patty to be in the middle and then we need the, the, the bread to be on top, right? So people, like they're just too impatient with themselves and they don't follow the steps. And obviously, if you don't want to do the work as well, I can't do anything, you know? So that's why we want only motivated entrepreneurs to be in this program right here, okay? And obviously people who shortcut and don't execute according to the advice. So I told someone to do something, he did something else and then he didn't get the result. And then I told him, I told you so. And then, yeah. Okay. So those are people. Um, yeah. We need open-minded people uh, to, how do I say this? Open-minded people can absorb new information. They're willing to take in criticism and able to um, basically pivot from there as well. Okay. And lastly, people who quit halfway. Okay, people who don't put in the effort, right? I, I literally cannot, I cannot do anything. For example, there was one of the students, um, his wife was pregnant at that, that time. So he couldn't do anything, right? And so like, it, it's really, how do I say this? Like, it's really dependent on your situation. And if you know for a fact, like you will put in the work, you will definitely get the result, okay? So if you think about it from, from my perspective as well, okay? If we help our clients do well, we do well. Okay, our client results speak louder than anything. Like, it does not matter. It's all about client results. So like, sorry, I'd be, very, very brutal. I couldn't care less. Like, I want you to be successful. And like, hey, if you if you are willing to put in the work, I am 100% willing to help you as well. Okay, that is why I put this slide here. This presentation is for motivated and open-minded open entrepreneurs. Okay, 
if you want to get to the next level. However, not everybody is as dedicated as I thought that it, they would be. So not everybody is deserving to get to 100K, 200K, 300K per month, honestly. Okay, there are some people who are just cut out from it and some people who are not. If you're not, fair enough, it's fine. Okay, but if you are, if you really want to get, get to the next level, then yeah, sure. Okay, yeah. So like I said, you only got two options, really. Like number one, stick to whatever you're doing. Uh, you're trying to go in blind. You try things out for yourself. You spend money and money can be earned back, but you're going to waste tons of time trying to figure it out. Okay, time is super precious. Okay, what is the cost of you not taking action now? Okay, what is the opportunity cost? Okay, is it, um, how do I say this? Sleepless nights. Is it financial distress or whatever it is? Okay, I would think the upside is much more than whatever costs or whatever investment you're taking. Anyway, it's tax deductible, okay? So just figure it out yourself, right? If you if you want to be stuck at, at this option right here, or you can go to option two. Option two is the follow-up process that works, okay? So you can get the results the first time, the very first time, okay? What good is it if you keep running in circles and then you just don't get to the next level? Isn't it uh, even more frustrating because you tried and tried and tried and still failed? Okay, why not just go straight to the source and go straight to scale immediately, okay? Like money cannot solve everything, but 100% liquidity and sales gives you peace of mind. Trust me, okay? So yeah, the opportunity for you to make tons of money, you can scale, uh, connect with other entrepreneurs and just enjoy life, man. Business is not supposed to be so tough, okay? So yeah, um, now this is my call to action here. Okay, I want you, if you're interested, if you're still watching this at this point, I am pretty sure you are a certain characteristic, okay? You are, you are pretty uh, legit and dedicated, okay? I want you to go down below, uh, press the button, and then it'll redirect you to another page. It goes to a jot form or whatever. Okay, fill up the form, the application. Okay, and then you will be able to choose a time on the calendar as well. And then uh, you can pick a time to speak with us. Okay, this call is going to happen on Zoom. Okay, on the call, right, we are going to show you how the program works and the content and stuff. And if you have any further questions, okay, it's going to be, how do I say this? It's very open. Like, feel free to ask anything. Okay, so... Uh, I'm also going to tell you it's not going to be cheap. Okay, it's not going to be cheap. It's an investment. Anyway, it's tax deductible. So why does it matter, right? If this can get you to, for example, two, three hundred k or whatever it is you want, you want good eight figures. Yeah, sure. Not not any everybody can do that, but yes. Okay, then yeah, we will help you and try our best to help you do that. Okay, I am going to be honest with you. If it makes sense for you to buy, means that we find that you are a good fit, right? I I want you to buy. Like I'm I'm not I'm not um afraid to pitch you. You know. I want you to buy because I know it's going to help you, okay? Um, and if I, I potentially can help you, I want you to be successful. I 100% will want you to buy, okay? Like like money is not bad. Greed is bad, okay? My money is just a monetary term, okay? So like, hey, but if it's not suitable for you, obviously, then we don't want your money as well because it's honestly unethical for me to take your money if I can't even help you, okay? So yes, if you are the good fit, uh, if you are de determined, motivated, I want you to buy. I want to help you. I want to see you on the Zoom calls. Uh, I want to see you get success like Paul, like Alexander, uh, like Swery, like um, like Adam, you know? All, all of them believe in themselves, took action, and then produced a result for themselves. And uh, the, the end result is much better than whatever they, they started with, okay? So, yeah, okay? So, uh, yes, this is my last slide right here, okay? Just to tell you, yeah, you have spent around 53 minutes with me uh, at this point in time, okay? Uh, I'm pretty sure you are, you are quite interested, okay? Feel free, Okay? Do your due diligence, right? Go go down through this page. See uh, the case studies. Watch the videos for yourself. I've been doing this for many years, okay? I've dedicated three years of my life to do this every single day, okay? Skill acquisition, extremely important. Okay, I have nothing to hide. If, if you have any questions, feel free to ask as well. Uh, book a call and then uh, we can answer any questions you have, okay? And I'm really excited um, for you to, to see you on the, on the call and stuff. And uh, yeah, okay? Thank you so much for your time. Uh, do your due diligence. Uh, check out the testimonials and stuff. Watch the videos. Um, consume the content and understand what, what we are about, uh, how we can help you and stuff. And I'll see you on the call, okay? Thank you so much. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, okay? See you.